Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Field of Glory 2, the Campaigns of Mithridates. We are here at the hopefully end of our campaign. I'm loading the 7th out of 7 battles. Pontus versus Rome. It's time. So the enemy is offering open battle, and let's see what the battlefield looks like. Okay, so little bits of rough ground. Good to know. And now that we're back in Pontus, we're not allowed to have a phalanx, so I can't rely on that. Oh, okay. Um, so this battle is actually pretty, pretty messed up. This is the ground. This is a hill. This is a higher hill. Um, and there's even rough ground on top of it. Interesting. Okay, well, let's autofill and see what happens, and then kind of make some prognosis from there. All right, so it looks like already we have some light horse archers. I'm going to go ahead and remove those guys. Light javelin horse, we have too many of those. Okay. Let's see. Plenty of Thuriophoroi. I actually googled how to pronounce that, and uh, I'm more confused than I was at the beginning, so... Um, I'm also going to get rid of some of these irregular foot. Two is fine, um, but there's probably more I can do with them. Javelin men were good, because I want that many javelin men. Do I? Actually, you know what? I don't. And I definitely don't want that many archers. So now my missile troops are these three, and then these five. That seems much more appropriate for the situation. And now I have 300 points. So let's see, what am I missing? Scythe chariots. Pfft. Uh, more cataphracts. Yes, please. More armored noble lancers. Yeah, I do, actually. Um, I don't have enough heavy cavalry Let's see. We're good on warbands. Imitation legionnaires. Let's pop out another one. Okay, now let's auto deploy these guys. Okay, so I still have 25, and I'm tempted to put another javelin man in. But let's see, is there something else I don't want? What if I get rid of an irregular foot and I put in a. Um, hmm. I kind of see why I chose what I did. So I have 55 points. You know, whatever. Let's do it. Auto deploy. They accept. Okay, so what I just did, if you couldn't see that, because I know that the, the text is kind of small on my screen, uh, I decided to go for another imitation legionnaire. And the reason for that is, I mean, I think I have a decent strategy in mind here. So let's, let's make it happen. Okay, King Mithridates is on cavalry. Now let's align these troops accordingly. And so I'm going to, my cataphracts, I have one cataphract general and one other cataphract. And I'm aligning those guys there on account of the fact that I think. Um, I'm going to try to use this side as the flanking area. And then I'm also going to bump up, let's see, yeah, I'm going to bump up the Thuriophoroi, 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 you know, as good as I can get. Um, bumping those guys up there because I think it'll be better. Okay, so let's just kind of squish everyone together and let's get started. Let's see what the Romans bring. This is the ultimate battle, so this could be pretty difficult. Um, pardon me drinking some water there. But it might not be. Okay, so... Javelin horse, javelin horse, javelin men. Polius Lentulus. Okay. Pompey. Oh. So it's the Pompey, I believe, that we are facing. 
Okay. So you can tell the veteran legionnaires by their shields. And um, so we have one, two, three veteran legions. Um, and then Ignatius Roscius. So I think I kind of chose right in terms of what I plan to do. Um, because there aren't going to be much in the way, there isn't going to be much in the way of rough ground on this side. Um, but there will be on this side. And so this, this whole side is going to turn into a mess. Um, and hopefully that means they're going to funnel into the pass, but we'll see. Um, one thing that I do wish the game did was just kind of bump up the, the hills or make the textures look like more of a hill, um, because it is a little hard to tell sometimes. But it's, uh, that's enough talking for now. Let's start moving some troops forward. Um, and let's move these. The good news is all of these units are pretty tough. Before I move them, let me make sure that my general isn't... Nope, not good. Um, and so basically what I'm trying to do here is push everybody up to a point where they can take advantage of some sort of natural barrier. Um, and for right now, my plan is to try to move these imitation legionnaires up here, right between the rough ground. So, uh, you know, if I attack the legions while they're on the rough ground, will be good. And if I don't attack while they're on the rough ground, um, ideally it won't matter because they will be uh, otherwise indisposed by the uh, edge of my flanking maneuver, which is hopefully to come. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's go. Now, unfortunately, it seems to me that the Romans didn't bring in some heavy artillery to sit in the back, which has always been kind of my my mainstay. So I'm going to miss those free couple of percentage points that I can knock off their uh, army composition. Brought me drinking a little more water. So um, let's swing by. And I think I can start making some pretty decent work out of these guys. I don't know if I'll be able to... Um, some ears can move up. I don't know if I'll be able to make them disrupt held frame yet. Um, but at least I can get the process started. Oh, there you go. Okay, so that'll take care of them. Let's move this cavalry up. You know, it doesn't hurt, just... Uh, Leave a little space there. All right, now for here, let's see. I'm going to win long term, so why not? OK, that's why not. What about you guys? I'll win. Great. That actually went much better than anticipated. Um, likewise, I'm going to win this. I'm a little nervous about whatever my grand strategy is there. But I have to tell you, I've just kind of hit my uh, my wit's end with these kind of skirmish battles out there. Um, it gets really frustrating when I'm trying to uh, make something happen, and all of a sudden there's some kind of skirmish battle from hell going on with cavalry chasing cavalry. And I'm sure I'm not the first general to think that. Um, I, in fact, I know I'm not, but I'm also not an actual general. I'm just a a dude with a microphone and a uh, nerdy hobby. But what can you say? It's a new world. So I'm still moving all these units up, and I'm wondering if it's necessary for me to actually keep my line straight. Um, and by that I mean, let me hit and turn. Uh, by that I mean, maybe I can kind of offset this side, this right flank here, to take advantage of the terrain. Because there is still the real chance that Rome's going to funnel into this because they don't want to deal with any of the rough ground. Um, but that legion just went on the edge of the hill, so we'll see. 
Yeah, it could be that they realize that they should just go straight ahead because I'm going straight ahead, uh, in which case I think that will lead to their destruction. Or at least I hope so. Pretty par for the course. Now what I need to figure out is, will I be able to wipe out this nonsense flanking auxiliary troop maneuvering uh, before the Romans come? Because I do want to have that freedom. Um, so let's just start with the simple parts. Um, so. That's a lot of casualties. Yeah, great, wonderful. And there's a chance they'll route. Yeah. Beautiful. Held firm. That's too bad. So what's nice is now my archers kind of look down from this hill and just can fire. Um, well, willy nilly is not the right term, but they can. Slingers are doing pretty well. And yeah, let's just shoot them a little more. Okay, so they held firm, but... Cool. Um, and so the reason I did that is just... I want some maneuverability. And next turn they'll come back, but... I'll have figured out more of what I was trying to do. And I'm also going to go ahead and move these units here. Um, because these are going to be my flanking units. So I'm going to keep everybody where they are right here. I might move him up so that some troops will attack from the forest. They're going to have to. Um, likewise, imitation legionnaires go here. Hmm. So one thing that I clearly screwed up is that the rough ground is actually right here. Um, so let's move these guys there and start to push them over. OK, that looks pretty good to me, though. And again, if all goes well, I'll be able to immediately flank uh, a couple of these units. Granted, when have things ever gone well immediately, but I'm doing what I can. Uh, and so if you're wondering what my rationale is, I wanted to chase these guys out uh, before I really committed myself much. So that's likewise. Basically what I'm trying to do is get them to overcommit. Um, because they're disrupted, there we go, good. I know that the chances of them remaining disrupted are pretty low. Um, it's just kind of the way, it's the way it works. Um, and so I am charging these units. Great. Uh, and the reason I'm doing that, again, is because I just need my cavalry to be totally, totally free of this rough ground. And then maybe I can leave a couple back to act as flanking um, troops, but maybe not. All right, let's end this turn. All right, dispersed. Off to a good start. So combat's still two turns off here, at least. And it definitely looks like the Romans are reacting to the terrain. And I have good terrain. I have a distinct advantage with this terrain. And it's just a question of if I'm able to make the most of it. OK, so they have some Thracians back there, some raw legionnaires, and a regular foot. Now, this is where I don't want to commit too many troops. Because if I do, then I'm going to get overwhelmed by all these light junk troops that would just get destroyed by something larger. Hmm. So I'm definitely causing them to commit a lot of troops here. Um, maybe I should go back one. Yeah, let's do that. That'll, that'll allow me to have a little more maneuverability. Okay, 
So first and foremost, slingers should go. And I'm again in a very good position to affect some serious casualties to them. But they are tough, aren't they? Well, no matter. They've lost about 160 men out of 360, so I can't imagine it's going to be long. Okay, and then let's just turn these troops here because this is an essential part of my trap. I'm also going to risk the cohesion. Great. And also here. Perfect. Um, so basically what I'm doing here is drawing this Roman legion out and seeing, you know, seeing if anything sticks. Let's see, Mithridates. Everybody's pretty much within it. Okay. Swing these guys around. And I'm going to concentrate fire on these units here. And hopefully they just rout immediately. If anyone can catch them, it's them. Well, they can't catch them, so, so it goes. And it looks like things are going to come to a head with... Uh, What's his name here? Polius Luntolus. A little sooner than I had anticipated, but no harm in that. So I'm hoping to just flank him. Uh, I'd love to kill him pretty early, and I'm feeling pretty good about the situation. Not 100% super awesome great, but pretty good. And then let's actually bounce back there. Great. Um, and then if I need to, I can move that up, but I'd rather have the ability to step back or move forward. All right, let's end this turn. All right, well, the good news is that this javelin horse is pretty much gone. Hmm. I would love to move that warband back. I'm just not sure if it's worth the, the trouble. Or, if I charge with the warband into this legion, there's a chance I can flank with Dracon. Oh man, I hope he doesn't die. That's an awesome name. I'm going to move my chair a little bit, so I apologize for the uh, noise. Ooh, sorry about that. So some nonsense occurred on the left flank. We should inspect the troops over there to see what goes on first thing. On the plus side, Rome's definitely breaking up their troops. Okay, so let's just start over here. All right, so these horse archers attacked me, uh, and they're causing some damage, but um, I have the high ground. I have, there we go, and I had better troops. So let's just shoot them. and continue to do that. That's one of the dangers with these um, troops. This is actually a really cool angle. I do wish you could zoom in, but you can absolutely see how these archers are able to just shoot right over. Um, so that's a good sign. Okay, now we have a couple of situations to resolve. First is this. I'm going to attack. Oh my goodness. That was... <laughs> I think I have goosebumps. That was so amazing. That was that was amazing. I can't believe that happened. That was like a one in a million shot. Okay, well that changes things. I just have to you know, hedge my bets. Um, goodness. Okay, um, let's move him up. Uh, a Roman legion just routed because of a warband charge. I mean, I know the charge is terrifying, but that was not supposed to happen. All right. Um, well, good. That helps a lot because this irregular foot's going to get wiped out uh, as soon as it can. Okay. Now we've successfully pulled off this feint. Um, so now the question is, can we 
go further without them bringing troops back in. Basically, can I flank before they uh, respond to the threat? All right, let's try to kill these guys. Good. All right, now hopefully they just fall apart and my javelin horse can come back because I do want to deal with this guy. Okay, so let's scoot him around back. And now I'm in this difficult situation where I'm going to charge um, and I actually can't do anything because of the zone of control. Shoot. So I'm charging in there. Uh, that actually worked out way better than I expected to. Um, basically what I'm trying to do is, to use an old-timey phrase, head him off at the pass. And that's not really how that should have gone but my cataphracts will be able to engage him directly now, so it could be worse. Um, I'm trying to kind of keep them in place. I just, I want this chunk of troops to stay here, and then I can handle this a lot more easily. Okay, so chances are the Romans are going to attack with a lot of different troops here. Um, my hope is that, let's say these three troops, well, Let's just see what happens, and then I'll explain some of my rationale between concerns. All right? Great, that routed off. Okay, so this is the first thing that could happen. I didn't anticipate that, I'm going to be honest. I should have. Okay, you know, I'm just going to wait until everything's moved and figured out. But basically, what I needed to find out was how are these troops going to attack, if at all, and that will influence how I'm able to, to handle them. As it turns out, uh, they attacked in the way that I would have if I didn't forget something. So the AI is pretty good in this game. Uh, I've heard discussion that the AI is pretty easy to figure out if you play this game a lot, but I'm going to be honest, I'm almost at 100 hours, and I still haven't quite figured out all of its tips and tricks. Um, so first and foremost is let's engage the general and hope I don't fall back. We are held firm, which is great, because look, flanking is a possibility. OK. So with that in mind, let's, let's hold firm because if they fall back, I'll still be able to flank. Let's also move this troop up here. And this warband, hmm, let's move them up here. Oh, you know, undo that. Let's, I'll, I'll return to that. Um, I'm gonna stick to the easy things. Disrupted, good. Just, oh wow, routed. Auto broke, so they're not coming back. Wonderful, so Rome has lost 10% of its army, and we haven't lost any. 60%, let's do it. And the reason I said let's do it is because that means I can move this unit up there. Okay, what next? Um, let's move these troops up there. So I have to move this unit here, otherwise they'll be able to flank these guys. So that I kind of worked myself into a corner there. Um, and before I address the rest of this, let me figure out the rest of here. OK, um, first and foremost, turn you around. Thankfully, he didn't run off the map as well. And let's just get out of the way. I wanted to walk further, but I couldn't. Okay. So if you can see what I'm trying to do here, it's flank the legions. Um, I can attack them right here. And in fact, I am going to do that, which I know it sounds crazy. Um, but basically, my thought is pin them for sure, because I don't know if this armored cavalry unit is going to last. Um, next up. 
I'm gonna maneuver. I want him to not be able to attack these troops, and I want to be able to... Hmm, what do I want to do? Let's do it. Okay. Again, what I'm trying to do is just keep everybody at the status quo. Alright, disrupted. So like I said, I don't know if he's going to be there next turn, but I've guaranteed that this legion is now exposed. Okay, so the first combat I need to do is right here. And the reason for that is if they do terribly and push back, as they were, um, well, that's, that's that then. <laughs> um, but they're going to have to move something. This guy's going to get flanked or he's going to sit there forever. Now, um, they're steady because they're not in the woods. Shoot. All right, so let's hold up there. And what I'm trying to think through right now is what's the benefit of attacking or not attacking? If I stay here, he can choose between these two units. So let me move up so he can't. Um, and now this unit can only attack there. This unit, if he turns to face these guys, well, let's just let's move ahead. Let's do that. Hmm. Yeah, that's not. However, I will turn slightly. Yeah. Okay. I do want to charge, but I just don't see the benefit right now. But if they could push back, yeah, I gotta do it. I'm gonna do it. There we go. Thank goodness. Okay. Because next turn, it's time for some shenanigans. Basically, the reason I did it is because, oh man, rallied. I have to deal with that guy ASAP. Um, my main concern is if they get pushed back, then I won't be able to flank whatever that guy's name was. Hertia's Victor. And we all know how bad imitation legions are, so. as belied by their reaction to this first charge. I'm gonna cough. <coughs> Apologies, wow. Um, on the plus side, these Romans are idiots and they're all in combat, so let's kill them. I don't know if I wanna get super distracted fighting those guys. Okay, good, so they held. I don't know if that guy's gonna hold. And he did, good. Push back, buddy. No, okay. That, uh, this entire turn hasn't really gone my way, but that did, so, and that did. Great. All right, so let's start with this little mini combat here. First, we need to attack them. Flank charge. This might even end them. Fragmented. Great. Will this rat them? Let's find out. And it does. Great. And look who's ready to fight again. Now you need to turn. And this guy is pretty much a human, um, I don't know, Caltrop. Let's see if we can do anything. Oh, I should have thought about that. Oh, okay. You know, that worked out, to be honest. Didn't expect it to, but it did. Um, well, he's going to route, so might as well just get it over with. Oh, that actually worked much better than I anticipated. Okay, um, hmm, what do I need to do here? Let's 
let's chase them into a corner. Okay. Well, not the best use of time, I suppose, but it could be a lot worse. And now we can continue the flanking maneuvers. And oh, there are a lot of them. Um, so I'm actually going to move. Hmm, I don't want to fail a cohesion test, and pushing them back doesn't really do much. So let's move them over here. Um, basically, I want to have the option, if they lose this combat badly and fall back, I need the option to be able to have these guys turned. If you think I'm going into that combat, you're crazy. Um, okay, so I need to spook these guys. I absolutely need to. Because they routed very easily, and if I don't finish them off, then, you know, then we're in trouble. Hopefully they route after that. Perfect. Alright, that's been a pretty good uh, series of developments, and I'm just going to move my cavalry out there to really clear up this whole area. So that entire flank is kaput. Now let's get a flank charge going. And what about another flank charge? Two flank charges in a day? Alright, general's dead. Okay, very positive turn of events here. And now I'm going to do, I'm going to turn slightly and fall back. I swear, it, Mithridates was about to have a cohesion test go badly, I could just tell. Um, let's just, I don't know, shoot somebody. Because it doesn't hurt to get these archers a little more um, in the the main field. Okay, now for these tests. This is going to be a hard combat. Okay, pushed back as anticipated. Um, let's see what happens with this combat. All right, well, I don't know. I kind of want to, let's turn. Let's see what happens if I turn. Um, I'm going to have to fight this. Might as well fight it now. Went well. Same, same for here. That went terribly. Um, that went more than terribly. I don't want that guy disrupted at all. Alright, well on the plus side this guy's doomed. Doesn't matter what happens, he's doomed. Um, but that definitely did not go well. And he has two more combats he has to fight, so there, that guy's gone. Hopefully the rest of this. Okay, health for him, good. Okay, well that, that certainly makes things more interesting, doesn't it? I, I appreciate all the routes, but the reformed line is very um, flank attack, but it doesn't matter. Hopefully they'll get pushed back. Oh no, that's the opposite of what I wanted. Held firm and heavy losses. I might just lose my advantage on that right flank if I'm not careful. I'm kind of done chasing these guys. They're garbage troops. I'm hoping they... Push back. Come on, push back. Yes. That's exactly what I had hoped would happen. Because all of a sudden, Ignatius Rosius, Rose, whatever his name is, is in some serious dire straits. Hold firm. Okay. 
stay. I've got to tell my troops to stay because I don't trust them to do anything else. Hey, rallied. Wonderful. Broken. Even better. I like when cavalry break the enemy because then they get to run around. Okay, let's focus here. Um, I don't care about you, but you're going to be annoying, so I have to do something. Let's turn around and shoot him. do that. I can't do anything here. You are fragmented. Let's see, what's what's the odds here? Hmm, odds aren't great. I think I have to move in and attack. And I'm going to make that... Yeah, there's going to be a difference now. Yeah, odds are much better. Uh, let's scoot these guys up. And just, I don't know. Throw a couple of stuff into there. Okay, so they, they're doing all right. And now the question is what to do with this unit. I kind of have to turn him here. All right, not an ideal situation, but we'll make the best of it. Uh, next up, can I, I can't physically attack these guys, so let's start here. Great, push back, further, even better. Okay, um, then let's see if we can attack with right here. Finally they broke. Wow, that's actually literally the best thing I could have hoped for. As long as I can get my other troops into um, a position that I'd want them to be in, then we're good. And I'm also going to have to move these troops up just so they can't flank them. And I'm going to use this to flank charge. Which completely opens up this flank, but I, I got to do it. You know, this is the only way I'll be able to make any headway against the Romans. So I got to take these risks. Um, and that's really unfortunate. Mithridates, can you do anything? Not really, but maybe I can move him here. Let's turn him a little bit. I'm, th I'm hoping that means the zone of control is they can't flank them right away, but uh, I'm probably wrong. Okay, next up, hit him with that flank charge. Now oh, that went really well. Um, next up, hit him with that flank charge. I didn't expect to be able to do two and one. And I suppose at this point, it behooves me to just kind of stay put. Um, but I do have to fight this battle. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, well that went very well. Um, I'm kind of stuck right now, though. Ooh, not good. Alright, so let's get these guys out of the way. Totally out of the way here. Move them. Archers, why don't you attack? Great. It's the best way to get them further, and then you guys attack too. Okay. Um, I think that's all I can do for this turn. I mean, I know I'm kind of making it seem pretty close, but I do have a 20% advantage right now. But I also want to stress that we know how hard that is to hold. Okay, well that was great. The Romans charged me and my horses pushed them back. Okay, zone of control is coming in handy. Mithridates just has to not die. And so for everybody that's attacked, that armored cavalry has lost significantly. However, uh, my warband with the general was attacked. That's too bad. I don't know where Pompey went, but I don't like the fact that I lost track of him.
Okay. But you know what? Um, there was a rally there, and there's still plenty of combats to fight. But what's really good is that I wasn't flanked, and I can hopefully finish off this uh, general there. That's probably Pompey. Yeah, Pompey's right there in the thick of it. Good, disrupted, disrupted. Excellent. The good news is the people flanking me are Thracians. Ooh, Thracians. Never mind. I take back what I said about good news. All right. Um, so new plans deal with these guys who apparently decided they wanted more. Which is honestly fine with me at this point in the game. Um, you know, no one has any, any ammunition. They probably have decent ammunition, but they ought to broke, so they're done. All right, let's flank charge. I think that should be it for them. No, oh, okay. They wanted more. There they go. Lovely. Okay, good. So zone of control wise, um, that's too bad. I kind of have to fight them there. And I, I'm kind of stuck with the way this layout is. Um, so I don't think I'll be able to actually flank them. But I will be able to do a little bit of, um, hopefully if I win that, yeah. I will be able to at least hold them in place. Um, and then let's fight this one. Now, the impact, I think, from a charge is going to be more than the subsequent battles. And so this is going to be a pretty tough one. And really, I should save Mithridates for last in case he dies. But it is what it is. Hold the firm, you son of a gun. But watch out, and you're down flank attack. Okay. Wow, that was excellent. So let's move these units here. I kind of want to engage, but I also think that's folly. That was a little goofy. Okay. I'm keeping these units here so they can deal with whatever comes. Uh, and hopefully the flanking maneuver will continue. I just need to get them over the edge, so to speak, and I'll have one. I just don't know if I'll be able to do it. Um, so let's focus on these guys who are already disrupted. Now they're fragmented. Can I end them right here? I can. Great. Oh, goodness. Fragmented. I can't. Uh, I cannot charge. That's too bad. Thought about it. This game has me talking like a old person. My goodness, heavens. I'm just really caught up in the glory. And I guess that's all I can do. So if all goes well, I win. If they rout anybody, I will lose. Or if anyone rallies from them, I will... Well, I won't lose. I'll just be back where we were. So let's end turn. That... That flank has been amazing. Good dispersed. Dispersed. Routed. Routed. So pretty much that little bit of woods right there is the reason I'm winning. Um, that's amazing to me. Fragmented, eesh. Um, because that little bit of woods meant that the Romans couldn't really do much of anything they wanted to do. And these poor guys are just stuck out there in those woods, but we'll deal with that later. All right. Okay, the raw legions are suffering. Mithridates hasn't died yet. Always a positive. He definitely had a Good fragmented on the edge there. Mithridates had such a tendency to get injured 
in the early battles in this campaign. And I wonder if that's just kind of a lesson I needed to learn. You know, hold your general in your hand, in your pocket. All right, if they route, yeah, I won. There's no way. There's no way. Yeah, this is me. I got it. Ooh, that one was that was great. All right, let's let's take a look at this. Yeah, so I mean, there is no way. This was the most resounding victory I think I've had yet. Um, I mean, it was obvious what was going to happen, right? As soon as the Rome made those two mistakes, which is well, the first thing that happened was that legion that routed all of a sudden that underpinning of their entire flank was gone and so that one got started rolling up and then the other big one was these woods would just disorder them too much and I was able to utilize that to my benefit so actually I don't know that was that was a pretty good battle I have to say I think I learned a lot from the earlier battles against the Romans did my research um, I mean I still made quite a few mistakes see all of this you know, there's there's a chance that we're going to be stuck here. But again, if they attack, then my cavalry sweeps in and flanks them. You know, this general's going to die at any point, and all of a sudden, this entire side is getting rolled up. So that was really cool to see the entire line shift. Very good, very good. And there we go, 50% to 11%. That was a master class. Well, there you have it. That was the campaign of Mithridates. I'm on stage eight of seven. But um, look, I made Poppy's defeated, I made peace with Rome, I'm Rome's most tenacious foe, and I'm Mithridates the Great, what, what can I tell you? That was, that was beautiful. And then this is my army, that's what I think is kind of cool, they let you see what your army is. Um, and so I had some elite cataphracts, so that definitely helped. Elite armored cavalry, and then after that everybody's just kind of average. But that was, that was a really good battle. That was a good campaign. I hope you guys enjoyed it a lot. Uh, I certainly did. I didn't expect it to take this many videos, but there you go. Uh, and stay tuned. I'm trying to decide what my next series should be. Uh, I'm keeping the Broken Crescent one going, obviously, but that's going to go on for a long time. And I'm kind of thinking of doing a Field of Glory campaign with uh, the Immortal Fire DLC. Um, but if you have any suggestions, let me know. Otherwise, I might go ahead and get something like that started. But once again, you're watching the Fuzzes campaign of Mithridates. Thanks, and have a great day.